giving a thousand dollars in the giveaway today but more importantly we're talking seven day series free training that I'm doing on how to be a black belt in sales and closing deals now we're gonna start out this thousand uh, dollar giveaway with a simple question for you hundred bucks to the first person I see that answers this correctly there's a book that I like called the self-made billionaire effect it's by I think a couple CPAs accountants and they said that they did the research on the wealthiest people in the world and 60 to 70 percent of them all started in one thing what is that thing for a hundred dollars this is like survey says jeopardy or what wait, wait survey says is uh the price is right who has the correct answer somebody said it's lagging now there i see it all right the first person i see on instagram it's sly bro or uh, it's sly t bro i t s l y t bro uh, <clears throat> i screenshotted it there 100 bucks so the answer is 60 according to research done in this book that i like self-made billionaire effect they studied the wealthiest self-made people not the people who inherited money 60 to 70 percent of them started in sales so if you want to know why you should pay attention to today's training as well as you know the seven day training i'm doing it's simple you learn this stuff is the most correlated whether it's fully causative is another question it's correlated the most uh, of any activity that you can engage in for wealth creation how are we on our sound are we good everything Let's just. If it keeps popping, just put it on LTE. That's the only thing we can do. Instagram seems to be working for me. Okay. Super lag. Oh, you might want to put it on LTE. Okay. I'm watching it here. So let's just think about it this way. Think of all the things growing up people tell you you need in order to be financially independent. They tell you things like, you know, a degree. Some people are going to tell you. On a, on a little bar graph, like a degree is the most important thing. Other people are gonna tell you your daily routine is the most important thing. Other people are gonna say it's your networking skills. Other people are gonna say it's your daily habits. There's a lot of things, people. Other people are gonna say, it's how hard you work. Working hard, right? Hard work. But if you notice, these aren't really backed up. Now, <clears throat> just to be clear, it is true that all of these are important things. I'm not so sure about college degree, but your daily routine, your ability to network, habits, ability to turn on and off hard work, those are important, but nothing is close to what we're talking about right here. Okay? It, somebody said right here, hard work. Um, yeah, it's just the science doesn't back that up. Like the actual evidence doesn't back this up somebody said ty can you explain jordan belford sell me this pen so jordan belford wolf of wall street that's in that movie where he's like sell me this pen so i've got i've become friends with with him over the last couple of years and i've asked him you know this kind of thing this pen question I'll, I'll tell you everybody has their different take on what is important <clears throat> but i'm gonna tell you this right now rockefeller right Rockefeller was the richest man in history so far Rockefeller right he was worth in today's dollars 600 billion and if you adjusted for inflation <clears throat> now if you actually read about him one of the things that he did was master sales he would get he would be in a small room Here's him. There'd be three or four people sitting around, you know, and he had the ability. This guy only has one leg. <laughs> they had the ability to 
negotiate that deal in a way that everybody was happy. And of course, Rockefeller ended up making $600 billion as a product of all of those negotiations he did. Someone said, the hell is that handwriting, brah? Well, one thing that wealth creation is not correlated with, good handwriting. So I try to focus on the things that are important. Okay. $100 for today's game show. Live, streaming, Facebook, YouTube. The question is, what year was Rockefeller born? Just so you know, you got to know a little history so you know the time frame. I'm going to look it up to make sure I know. I think I know that. And I'm talking about Rockefeller Sr. Okay. There's a few Rockefellers. I'm talking about John D. John D, baby. What year was he born? Let's go. Who knows? What year was he born? $100. How come people don't just Google it? People are giving wrong answers. I guess they don't have, I guess they're using their phone for this. I'm going to look around. Whoever I see when I turn back around on Insta, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. We need something. What's Zach? What can we say instead of survey says? We need something that's unique to us. Live stream says? So, yeah. That about live stream says, man. That's like a modern world one. Why don't the door open? Is that just for air? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm fine. And the live stream says for a hundred dollars. Boom, I'm looking right here. <clears throat> Twitter. Nush underscore F. 1839. Nush underscore F. Damn, YouTube goes crazy. YouTube's like a hyperactive thing. Woo! Don't worry if you didn't win. 100 bucks. All right, let's just do it this way. For the second $100, pay, teach you a little financial history they didn't teach you in school. What year did Rockefeller die? So you know the general time, you know, he went through the depression towards the end of his life. What year did he die? Let's go. Here we go. D, no, that's when he was born. <clears throat> Blessed underscore baller on YouTube, 1937, right here. Do you see Blessed underscore B-L-L-R-R, -R. 1937. So this man lived, he was in his, pri I'm Blessed Baller on YouTube. You got to give your email, your cash app or your PayPal, or else we can't get you the money. YouTube direct messaging is crap. I don't know why, why hasn't YouTube just come up with direct messaging? How hard of a feature? It's like Snapchat was just copied by Instagram. <clears throat> How a rocket science can it be for Google to add direct? Maybe they don't want to have direct messaging. I feel like it would help. Survey live stream says 1937. Okay. By the way, just let me throw this out to you. Right now. See, I've been in the game. People don't realize that I've been moving in silence for a long time. People see me on social media. They're like, who's this new entrepreneur? I started when I was still a teenager with my first business. And uh, so I started in 2001, 2002 online. So I've been in the online game almost as long as anybody. Not as long as Jeff Bezos, obviously. He started in 84, uh, 94. But <clears throat> I've been in it for a while. And uh, I've never seen a time like we're in right now. Like, man, if you could be 18 right now. Who here is 18 right now? Because the opportunities, every tool that you need exists that Rockefeller didn't have. Now, Rockefeller did have some things. He lived through some great opportunities. There was a recession in the U.S. in the late 1890s. He made a lot of money in that time. <clears throat> a lot of people born in the 1840s to 50s made a lot of money because specifically it was a great time to be born when you were in your prime. Uh, a lot of people born in the late 40s, early 50s made a lot of money. People like Bill Gates. Um, you see this whole generation, Steve Jobs and stuff, because they came around right when a big era began, which is the personal computing era. Right now, we live, I mean, there's, I was at the, I don't know if you saw my Snapchat, but talking about sales, I'm at this conference today, traffic and conversion, and there's thousands and tens of thousands of people here. And people come up to me and 
they're like, what's the best thing I can do? There was all these people who have been in my agencies. One guy been in my social media marketing agency since 2016, making $25,000 a month right now. Gross, probably netting, I don't know, ask him, I'd guess 10 or 12,000. Um, it's a pretty high profit margin business. Anyway, I'm going, you guys got everything. You don't have to commit to expensive office, you got WeWork. It doesn't cost you 150,000 to build a website like it cost Jeff Bezos in 94. You got ClickFunnels, you got Shopify, you have WordPress, you have Wix. I mean, there's like a million quick. You can build a website. You have Amazon store, you can sell on Amazon. Jeff Bezos charge you what, like 30 bucks a month? So you have all that. Marketing, <clears throat> you don't have to drop millions on TV ads anymore. You can start with a $5 budget on Facebook ads, another tool. So you guys, here's the thing, you right here, in terms of the timing of your life, you have, like I said, WeWork is a powerful tool because you don't have to commit to long-term contracts if you need an office. You can have a one-person office. There's a couple companies like WeWork, but we use WeWork. Um, secondly, and, and there's Regents or some other ones like that. Um, you then have like Shopify. You also have Amazon that you could sell on. You have affiliate programs like ClickBank that you could just get paid if you could send some clicks over to people's offers here. You have, <clears throat> for hiring, you have Upwork. Um, for get, collecting credit cards, it used to be hard. Remember back in 2006, seven, you had to get merchant accounts of banks, this, or use PayPal and they would cut you off. Now you have like Stripe. And there's a few others, Braintree, Stripe, all these uh, simple plugins like that. What else? Customer support, like I said, you got Upwork, you have, it's very easy to do virtual assistants now. I mean, virtual assistant, I got my first virtual assistant probably like 2005 or something. But it's all here. Now, what I'm trying to tell you though, is the money that you're trying to make from all these things, you have to find the common hub for all these spokes. And that is sales and persuasion. You see, with all, you can have Shopify. Oh, I forgot social media. I forgot Facebook ads. Every tool that you need is right now. We are at a convergence moment. We're at a convergence mo moment very similar to um, what we had or what Rockefeller had between 1839 and 37, right? So, my question to you, my question to you is, do you have, first of all, these spokes, <laughs> somebody wrote Pornhub. <laughs> what? There's a bunch of people saying it. There's That's because once one person says it, then people are like, ooh. <laughs> let me, let me. Um, but that right there is the, is the hidden key. And that, my friend, has not changed since Rockefeller's days. The same skills Rockefeller had, that's not gonna ever change. That's not gonna ever change, okay? Somebody just wrote 1839. That competition's over, my friend. You'll be quick to the game. Ty, no one can read what you're writing. That's why I also say it. Um, if you expect to get rich without paying money, then you won't get rich. Take some money and you make money, they say, right? was born 1126. He was a Sagittarius? Ty, I'm with the Amazon Affiliate pro Associate Program of Domain and a site, which program do you recommend? Ha, I just closed my Amazon group. A lot of you missed it. <clears throat> so I got that closed right now. Ty, what's your opinion on drop shipping? Yes, one, that's another tool in the arsenal. You know, you've got Alipay, Alibaba, if you live in Asia. You got all, this whole family of companies here, especially in Asia, but they also allow you to send things to the United States without holding the inventory here. Ty has doctor handwriting, but instead of the medical field, he's in business. Ty, should we watch a persuasion program? Uh, as a program I've had, it's a pretty ex expensive program, um, but I'm all, that's what I said, I launched a seven day test group. I'm going to put the link below. Um, for the next seven days, I'm going to take a handful of people 
I'm gonna close it after seven days. Like in the past, I've done seven day closes, but in the seven days, we just, it's like a partial scholarship. This one's actually gonna close. So if you wanna get in this, I'll put a little link below. What is the link? Tylopez.com. Sales live. You can go right there. For seven, you got seven days left. I'm putting this official notice. I'm gonna do my, a black belt system. I'm gonna take a handful of you, turn you into sales and closing and persuasion black belts with a special test group. I've never done this before, by the way. Um, so. <clears throat> This is gonna hold you together. I just want you to know, if you get in my social media marketing program, if you get on Amazon, if you are on Shopify, if you're at WeWork, Virtual Assistant, Stripe, Upwork, if you're an affiliate, but you don't have a black belt in sales, it just, the game doesn't work right. What Rockefeller would do, he was so quick with his sales and negotiation, he could change the structure of the deal in a way that instantly he knew he was getting a good deal and they still felt like they were getting a good deal. That is hard. Let, let's talk about that for a second. So let's break down sales. There's really, and for those of you who get in the, we're doing a four month certification. At the end, for those of you who get in the, the small paid test group, it's gonna be small, because I'm only doing it for seven days. I don't even know if I'll do it again for this whole year, but I'm gonna close it. This is the first time I've ever opened this. This is, I'm gonna train you the same things I train my salespeople who work for me. I've been training salespeople in my own company since 2003 or four. First person I started training was a guy named Justin Stainback, who was actually one of my mentors, nephews. Um, and he went on, he's an entrepreneur now to these days. We still talk, he lives in North Carolina. So that was kind of the first person I remember I told him, we were closing big deals back then, big financial deals. We worked with GE Financial, GE back then was the biggest company in the world, GE Capital, and I told him, Justin, you gotta close a deal this way. And he wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't listen to me. I started being trained in sales from Joel Salatin, my first mentor, when I was 19 years old. So I've been in sales for a long time, man. And I will tell you, there's levels to this game. Most people are white belts. Most people coming out of college are white belts. Most people definitely coming out of high school. I'm assuming your parents never told you. I've never met a parent who's like, yeah, I taught my kids how to close deals. No. Clayton James 671 says on Twitter, Ty, any real estate advice? Yeah, learn how to sell. All real estate is, is closing deals and negotiation and persuasion and sales. That's it. Uh, I had <clears throat> the other day, um, I just closed a real estate deal. I don't know if you saw, I posted on Snapchat. I put the little, I posted like the, what's called the HUD, the closing statement, right? From the US government. And anyway, I was closing out, it was, it was a small deal, $750,000, 111 acres of real estate that's in the path of development. And when I was talking to people, the people selling it, they wanted a higher price. And the realtor, I told them, we can get this price better. I mean, we can get this thing for a better price. And the realtor was like, no, no, we're gonna scare them off and all this. I said, listen to me, listen to me. The way that you do this thing is we're gonna come in with this offer. We came in with the offer. Sure enough, I got that thing for way cheaper and I got it for what the real estate agent was like. It's impossible, you're just gonna piss them off. I said, there's a way to have a conversation with people, persuade them over to your side without pissing them off. He didn't believe me and you know, he was wrong. And now he, now he understands that the way, there's ways of doing this thing that you win at. Um, <clears throat> Ty, I'm studying Than Merrill's great book, The Real Estate Wholesaling Bible. Than Merrill's a great sales guy. He launched a big real estate education company. He's done a lot of sales. Uh, one, of, one of the people who, I want to be the only person selling, I mean, teaching in the sales program on how, how to sell, um, Cole Hatter will be uh, teaching some of the program over the four months. He's closed $100 million from the stage, right? I've closed, I do stuff from live streams, internet, social media, but I also do one-on-one -on -one sales and started with cold calling and door-to-door. -door. So we'll be talking, there's basically four phases that you've got to understand of sales, and they're very simple. 
how to open deals. There's an art to opening a deal. Obviously how to close deals, right? I mean, this is a no brainer. But third is how to read people, man. Reading people. This is so big. Like right there, like right, that is the crux of how, you know, sell me this pen. There, there is no one answer to sell somebody a pen. If you can read people, you are the king. And that's what Rockefeller was the king of, reading people. And then the fourth thing that you need to understand is what I call the ninja. There's a set of ninja techniques that you can't just encompass in one thing. And these are anywhere from, you know, de-escalating negative situations. How do you de-escalate? when somebody's freaking out or angry, that's an interesting thing. The 25 cognitive biases, which I've expanded into 34 cognitive biases. Scientists say there's 24 biases. I've been studying them for about seven years and I've expanded. I think they're missing about nine. So I think there's 24. Those are all ninja things. These are the three foundational and then we go super deep with like extra, extra stuff. So this can be like the difference between um, doing low ticket and high ticket, selling from the stage versus selling one-on-one versus selling on the phone versus selling on social media, live streams versus selling via email, uh, selling, <clears throat> did I say door to door? That's a, selling hard things like life insurance like, or car sales. There's ninja techniques that apply to each one of these. Josiah Neal said, I want this course. I'll tell you this, just like my Amazon course, which people thought I was joking when I said I'm gonna close it, it's closed. People were like writing in, like begging, like, yo, I wanna get in. And I'm not, we're not even, even if people come to me with money, we're just turning them away. Cause I told everybody, get in or I'm closing this. And so this is the same thing. Ty, can you get girls with this technique? So can a person use this in their dating life? I mean, sure. All of life. In fact, I'm gonna tell you this, you can use this for health. If you're out of shape, you have to sell yourself. You have to open a deal, which is like open your mind to going, all right, I need to be working out. A lot of people do that, but they don't close the deal because they don't know how to read themselves and they don't have ninja techniques. These four things apply to everything. A lot of people are lonely out there in the world. A lot of people can't get a girl or a guy or a lot of people can't find, they're lonely. I live in New York City. I live in the biggest cities in the world. New York City, Miami, London, Los Angeles. Same thing. You see people that are, bo that are bored with life, that are depressed because they don't know that you even have to sell yourself to yourself. I'm not even talking about selling yourself to other people, man. Um, quid pro quo, somebody wrote. Uh, Ty, when is Berkshire Hathaway meeting? I believe it's the fourth, isn't it? Okay. Hey, Rick, come here for one second. Mm -hmm. Chris Lucia said people can't get a girl because they are weak inside. This one, tell tell Frank of them. Okay. Uh, I don't know that people can't get a girl necessarily because they're weak. Hey, that, don't oversimplify stuff. I would say people be, can't do it because they were never trained. How about that? You gotta be trained. As the book sell or be sold. There's lots of books out there. I'm gonna teach you, look. I'm gonna teach you online sales. I'm gonna teach you offline sales. I'm gonna teach you phone sales. Teach you s selling from the stage. Like I said, Cole Hatter is gonna teach a module on selling from the stage. He sold 100 million in the last few years from the stage. 100 mil plus. I think it's even more than that now. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, is this course a great addition for SMMA? All of you in the agency programs, you should consider getting in this test group because the number one issue people or concern people have is go, if I start an agency, will I be able to get clients? I'm like, yeah. MLM, if you're in a multi-level marketing program, if you're in a network, I know a lot of people who are network marketing follow me. You definitely want to do this. Look, network marketing can work really well or really horribly. I never really did network marketing. I think I tried it once for a week back in like 2004 when I lived in North Carolina. 
And then I went, I was doing other stuff, so I just didn't have time for it. But those of you who are in network marketing, network marketing is only sales skills. And those of you who have a nine to five job, you wanna get a raise, you wanna get a promotion, that's sales. So, Ty, this sounds like a good course. I think it will be, and it's something people, I'm only doing this course because I did a Twitter poll, and people were like, this is the one that I want people to, I mean, people said, Ty, this is the one I want you to do. It won the Twitter poll. Ty, what's your opinion on Amway and network marketing? I just told you, I mean, you can make money in network marketing if you know sales. If not, you're wasting your time, basically. Ty, you have any plans to come to Mexico? D3 fan page. Ty, I bought SMMA 2.0 and love it. Sweet. Ty, when are you coming to Stockholm, Sweden? I'm in all three of your programs. Doing very well. Fernando. You know, it's funny you say that. I'm opening offices slowly but surely in 33 countries. We're targeted 33. Um, we're not in all 33 yet. Right now, we're in only one, two. We're in the U.S., multiple places. Canada. London, the UK, uh, China, Pakistan, India, Philippines. I'm missing a few, but we're open. We're going to 33 countries. By the way, we're hiring, but only for a select group of people. So I have a link on my website if you want to. I do it. We have a hiring quiz that will basically see if you got what it takes to come work for us. Ty, did anyone buy the credit program? Absolutely. Absolutely. We got people in all my programs. I have 280,000 people in my paid programs. Some people at one point thought it was a scam. Maybe on my first couple thousand people were like, this isn't gonna work on people, but we, I've now been doing this. I think I launched my first online course in either 2013, for sure in 2014, but I had one before 20, the 67 steps. So we're going on six, seven years here, and you know, hundred million plus have watched the free training like this, but a quarter of a million have gone through the paid stuff. Maybe a little more, but yeah. How long will the sales deal be up? Seven days. If you click the link that we put or the link below, you'll see all the go. You should go check out that page. Bookmark that page. Where can we take the quiz to work for you? It's on, I think, is it on tylopez.com, Rick? The jobs, the hiring quiz. It's just in the footer. Careers is in the footer. Yeah, if you go to tylopez.com and scroll to the very bottom in the footer, it said careers. Okay. Open one in Africa. One day I'm going to open one in Africa. We're going slowly but surely. We're moving around all the continents. Oh, Australia we're going to. South America. Do a day in the life vid, Ty. I've done some of those um, day in the life. Okay, let's give out 100 bucks. Here. Let's do $100. Ty, I wonder if you'll read this. Ty, when are you posting the rest of the lessons in Amazon Blueprint? Oh, don't worry. They're coming. They're coming. We've got like seven new teachers flying in. If you're in the same with the e-com program, we got people coming. Isn't there someone just recorded today or tomorrow for the e-com, right? Uh, uh, tomorrow, Amazon. Blueprint. Tomorrow, Amazon. Sorry, um, yeah. yeah, we got tons of teachers coming in. Ty, do you like white women? <laughs> These questions are great. Uh, Ty, when are you coming to Trinidad and Tobago? Ty, I'm in your 12 Foundations program. Ty, will this be helpful to sell life insurance? Believe it or not, I started, well, it wasn't my first business. My first business was a food business. Second business was life insurance. Actually, second was health insurance. Third was life insurance. Life insur if you can sell life insurance, you can sell anything. I think people go, oh, Ty, you're really good at selling stuff. And I go, that's because I, I started with the hardest thing. It's kind of like this. If you set someone down, they never worked out, and you go start with 500 pound bench press, and if you could survive that, you're gonna be you're gonna be strong in the gym for the rest of your life. I didn't even know life insurance was hard because I had never sold anything. I was like naive. I was like da da da. Someone goes, "Here, Ty. Here's what I want you to sell. I want you to call people who don't know you. I want you to say to them, Hey, do you want to spend money so that when you die, someone else gets a benefit? 
You get nothing while you're alive. Nothing alive. But when you die, a whole bunch of other people get better. Do you want to give your money to that right now? And I, I just was like, oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. And I did that and uh, sold a lot of life insurance. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of life insurance. Uh, face value, they call it. And, and um, so, yeah. Ty, best book you've read? Best book I've read ever. Probably Civilization as Discontents by Sigmund Freud. Ty, I bought your SMMA program. I'm only 20 years old. I'm making $10,000 a month. I just quit my job a few days ago, DJ Gordon. I hear that a lot, man. It's crazy. Today, if you go on my Snapchat, just all these people coming up to me at this conference going, dude, you changed my life, making 25000 I tell them, I didn't really change your life. You changed your life. But I'm glad I was maybe a catalyst or something. Ty, I see you shining, brother. Ty, Chad Jacob, Hernan says, I love you, Ty. Alexander Weeds says, yikes. Stax Washington said, Ty, I joined your Amazon program. I was super eager. Can't wait to change my tax bracket. <laughs> Nicholas said, Ty, I have a short attention span. Can I sell with a short attention span? Um, I mean, how short are we talking here? Are we talking goldfish short? Goldfish has a six second attention span. He's not listening anymore. <laughs> He fell asleep. His comments, he's offline. He asked the question, are you like, it's kind of like narcolepsy, but um, say, uh, attention epilepsy. Greetings from Norway, Mats Revler said. Hello. Okay, can dumb people do this? Yep. Dumb people can open deals. You know, there, <laughs> there was this girl that I knew a couple years ago. She came over with some friends that I knew. She was a friend of a friend. She's playing basketball. She's like 23 or something. She goes, I'm making eighteen thousand dollars a month. She living, she's living in Hollywood. I go, how are you making eighteen thousand a month? She's like, car sales. My low months, I make eighteen thousand. She was pretty, and she was using. She was a good salesperson. Sometimes women go, Ty, how do I get taken seriously? Well, I'm like, you know what? If you're good looking, might as well run with it. It's just like act. Angelina Jolie did not become an accountant behind the door. She's like. God bless me with looks. I'm making money off these looks. Same with Brad Pitt. So uh, I would say sales can work for people that are ugly too. I mean, I'm not a model. I did great in sales. I, I don't think looks are necessary, but for certain things like car sales, it would definitely, when you're doing phone, if you're ugly, do phone sales. That's what I did. No one cared. Uh, if you're good looking, go door to door. Go to car sales. Do something where you interact. I, I do. I get w women that are in the program. Ty, can Christians do this? Can Christians sell? I feel like yes. I feel like every, if you look at Christianity, people sold. At, at one point, there was this many Christians. There was that many on the planet. And the idea went viral, you could say. Same with Islam. Same with Buddhism. These things. Whenever you meet somebody that says, Ty... This person doesn't sell. You should fall. I'm like, what are you, a dumb? Are you dumb? Are you? That's what I want to say. You, you think, when are you not being sold something? That's what people don't understand. Your parents sold you something. They sold you an ideology. They sh sold you a cultural norms. I was just, I'm reading a book by one of my mentors, a textbook from Harvard uh, called Personality. I forget what it is, Personality Inventory, but it's a big textbook. And, and there's something called Evoked Culture. Evoked culture means you're not born with it, you're sold on it. It's funny that I was reading, I didn't even plan on this, I just thought of it now. Evoked culture basically means we're born with some instincts, like a little baby naturally is afraid of falling, a little baby naturally closes up its hands, all this stuff. We're naturally maybe afraid of snakes, some people say. But evoked culture makes people different. Meaning, if you're born in Stalin era Russia, you learn to be very suspicious. If you're born in, you know, Sweden at the same time, very similar regions of the world, Swedish people were much more, well, we'll say they were less traumatized by Stalin, right? So they were a little bit happier than you see in Eastern Europe. That's a evoked culture, meaning 
They were sold something in Russia. They were sold a worldview. And everything's sales. Even biology is selling you on something. My friend says to me, he goes, I don't know why people have kids. He says, I think they're brainwashed by their genes. I say, they're not brainwashed by their genes, but they are sold. we are sold something by our genes. You know? Somebody said, how much is the Amazon course? Don't worry about it. You missed it. It's closed. Sink. Boom. Done. Can't get in. Sandra said, I found you on YouTube two years ago. So far, you've been my best mentor. Remember, don't just have one mentor, not just me. You know, have multiple people. Ty, speaking of good looks, who is a pretty lady with a beautiful smile and gorgeous eyes with you that said she was smoking weed and super high? That's a very long con. Are, are you smoking something else while you're writing that? That was like one of those no commas, no. That was Kim. You're talking about on my Instagram? Okay. Let's talk about more about sales. So there's four. Now let's break these down further. You have the opening of the deals, the closing of the deals, reading people, and then advanced ninja techniques. I'll just put advanced. That hold all three of these together. There's only really three core parts of sales. And then everything else is the adjustment to whether you're only on the phone, whether it's a high ticket item, a low ticket item, whether you're selling on live streams, all this stuff. By the way, the way I sell on live streams has never been done before. As far as I know, I'm pretty much the only person in the world doing this at scale. There's some other people doing it, but some of my live calls get 100 to 500,000 people in 24 hours on them. So I don't know if anybody, I mean, I realized the power of the internet when I was doing like playing basketball place in LA and I'm just playing basketball and I look at the stats and we ha we're like competing. I think Shark Tank back then was getting like 800,000 to a million people in 24 hours and we're, we, I got like 500,000 and I didn't advertise it. I just was playing basketball, talking about investment deals and I was going, the Lakers stadium holds 18,000 people. I have 500,000 people on. That means I just sold out 25 stadiums while I'm in my backyard. Like that's a whole, one of the things you're gonna get in this program that doesn't exist anywhere, I'm on the cutting edge of a lot of stuff. Not everything, there's other people on the cutting edge, but there's, you're gonna see stuff, you're gonna learn stuff that you can't learn anywhere else, you know? So, Ty, help me help you. Have you seen The Wolf of Wall Street, the movie? Yes. Ty, thanks for the authenticity. Who else does this kind of stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Ty, between you, Russell Brunson, Grant Cardone, I'll be golden. Yeah, there's lots of people teaching sales, by the way, that are good. Wolf Wall Street, Jordan Belfort knows a lot about sales. Um, you, Grant Cardone knows a lot about sales. But, but I will tell you, nobody has a monopoly. I know about sales. And I got the numbers to back them up. My business partner knows about sales. We know about online. Me and Alex combined have done one billion in online sales. That's a big B. There ain't many people keeping up with that. One billion. We've also spent 500 million on our businesses, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, ads. That's also something not many people have done. That's sales too. People lie, but numbers don't. Now there's other people who have done more than us in other areas, but yeah. And I look at, I'm gonna tell you one thing that I do differently. Let's go to number three, which is reading people. I, no one else, and I think it's, I'm not sure why, but maybe it's my mentors, maybe it's my personality makeup. I'm an ENTP. If you look at Myers-Briggs, which are people that are very much focused on um, kind of reading people, you know? Hold on one second. Um, I, think, I think a lot of sales systems make the mistake of just telling you there's one way to sell. There's not. At best, there's four ways to sell. There's a P, A, S, E. This is a system I actually created, okay? The pay system. I invented this based off what I learned from some of the top scientists in the world who mentored me. So this is not like a pop culture kind of thing. This is actually rooted and grounded in real science. And it's, it's rooted on something called psychometrics. But P stands for practical. You have practical people. 
and they need a different so style. You have action based people, they need their own way, social and emotional. It's a very simple archetype, but it's powerful in its application. And so what I see mostly with sales is people who are action oriented, just telling you what, what they like, like this is how you sell. You just go aggressive and you, blah, blah. well, not everybody is, only 25% roughly of the world is action oriented. And so you're, gonna, you're going to basically, I won't say ostracize, but you're gonna unknowingly alienate people. The best way to sell is read people and then be like Bruce Lee. Can we pull up that Bruce Lee quote? Which one is the, can you pull up Bruce Lee on this one? Bruce Lee water video. This is what you want to be if you want to sell. Trust me. And I have to type in water. Bruce Lee water. Is it frozen? Huh? It's loading. Are you connected to the internet? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll see if we can't pull it up. You guys might have seen that little quote. All right, I can pull it up right here. Let me do it right here. I'll just do it on my phone. Remember, whenever you got to close a deal, this right here, Bruce Lee like water. I'll pull it up on YouTube, Let's see if you can hear. This is what it is, okay? There you go. It's one of the greatest sayings that Bruce Lee ever recorded. Be water. You want to be great at sales? Realize all people aren't the same. It's the biggest mistake in sales books that I read. The biggest mistake. And uh, I'll go head to head with in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Depends on the situation. I think I can sell with anybody. And I think I got the numbers to back that too. I'm not the only good salesman in the world. There's people who are better than me. But with this system, I can beat people who are even better than me in sales, uh, skills, because I have the ability to m move between these type of people. For example, if you're selling, let's say you're a boss or the person on the phone, or you've got an agency and you're trying to close a customer for your social media marketing or your e-com, or even your Amazon, if you're doing an e-com agency, you're doing Amazon, or even you're doing online sales, which could be online marketing, like you're creating a video. Practical people like numbers. They like hard facts like Bob the reason, Susie, the reason you should buy from us is we're 17% cheaper than our nearest competitor. We're 28% more effective. Now that doesn't work on an emotional person because emotional people don't process things through the lens of logic. So an emotional person set goes, oops, I got another Bruce well, Lee video going house. on. This is <laughs> Bruce Lee's continuing to be water on my phone. Um, let me turn this off. So with this system, this pace system that I've been teaching, I think since 20, at least 2014, mostly to my people who work for me. I haven't really made this public because this is part of like my, remember I said ninja skills? This is part of my ninja skills. You don't always want everybody to know your ninja skills. That's why I'm just doing this for seven day, you know, seven days opening this test group. You can't, what works here definitely doesn't work. By the way, these are opposites, P and S. Believe it or not, practical and emotional are not 100% opposite. Okay, they're more like 90 degrees, not 180 degrees. A's and E's somewhat, I mean, A's and S's go together well. P's and E's go together somewhat. P and S's oppose each other. E's and A's oppose each other, okay? And S and P's oppose each other. So you have to understand your style. You have to read yourself first. If you're a P, you gotta understand 25% of people you meet, you're naturally gonna turn them 
away with your style of persuasion, closing, and sales. Uh, those of you who are, you know, E's, you're naturally gonna, because E, E's are emotional and they're always worried about the worst case situation. They're also always a little bit negative. If you're an A, you're an action-based person, you're like, let's go do this, let's quit our job, let's make a lot of money, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you make that mistake. Okay, we've got a lot of people on here watching. So those of you who came, we got 2,500 on YouTube, 1,636 on Insta. How many on Facebook? Lowly Facebook here only has 158. How's our lowly Twitter? What are we on on Twitter, Rick? Like 12 people? Twitter 61. live. 61, woo! Um, let's do another $100 giveaway. I'm rewarding people that have been paying attention for this whole time, okay? So I'm gonna go through what I had on the page. In sales, I said, what's one of the hardest type of sales you could ever learn on would be what kind of sales? What kind of sales? Rick, you cannot win the $100. Let's go. Instead of survey says, we got live stream says, boom. All this live stream stuff is so cutting edge. Like no, it's a crazy, nobody's doing live streams and doing direct sales on live streams. I'm going, I guarantee you I'll have more people watching this than we're at any basketball stadium. The Lakers play, Lakers got beat by the, they got beat by the Grizzlies or something today, Zach. Hey, is there one of those uh, Kings are waters? Playoffs, not oh, sweet. I have my, there's about this much left. Thank you, Rick, for oh, keep, oh. Why does this say AIDS immunity if you drink this water? I'm pretty sure you're not legally allowed to say that. Do you see that? Where did we get this water? This was at Shell? No way. I gotta put this, on. I, I'm not even gonna put this on my social media. It says AIDS immunity. Somebody gonna go to, somebody gonna get in trouble with the FTC. You just go drink our water and you can't get diseases? I wanna make their commercials. What in the world? That's wild. Please. You didn't get AIDS. Well. <laughs> I drink water from Shell. <laughs> I, I gotta look at, I, I gotta be like, is this label legal? This, this is, this is crazy. I gotta put this on. Guys, we just got this water. I'm doing my live stream here. We just got this water from Shell gas station. Is this legal to say the benefit of drinking water, this water brand? That's insane. Do they have one for herpes? <laughs> Zach can not ruin my thing. <laughs> All right, let me edit Zach out here at the what? end. Edit what? But that's crazy. Can I get your uh, anti-chlamydia water? This can't even be, all right, I gotta do this one more time. Zach always got it. <laughs> hey guys, I got this water at the Shell station. Is this legal to say that a benefit of drinking alkyl eight? Is this, that's nuts. That is insane. That, okay, first rule of sales, don't oversell the benefits. Because you definitely cannot claim, I don't even want to drink this water. What state of mind were these people in? Thank you, Rick. That is crazy. You guys see this? Okay, who made this water? It says, it's manufactured in Escondido, California. Water qual, can we call, I gotta call this number right now while I'm live. 1-800, this, this is insane, I gotta. Somebody said it's holy water. It's holy water? This is the kill vampires? I'm calling this right now. This says AIDS immunity if you drink this water. We got this from Stelsey, I'm gonna put it on speakerphone. I'm not the only person calling. Everyone's calling at once. 1-800-377-9132. By the way, please recycle it, Rick. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, so that brings up a good point. I think it's saying to age your immunity. Right? Like, uh, it helps. 
Oh, helps your immunity. That makes sense. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> they know that that's a double entendre. <laughs> they know. Okay. You're doing the giveaway for this. Oh, what was my giveaway? Sorry. Let me scroll. Let me look here. I haven't looked at Instagram for a second. Okay, the answer. Sing Hanuj, wow, Sing H A N U J 22 said life insurance. I know a lot of you said it. Remember, it's the first person I see. So we got a winner on Instagram. By the way, you've got less than seven days, or you have seven days actually, to get into. I'm doing a four month certification sales and closing black belt system training. It's a test group. You go to tylopez.com slash sales. I, I announced it a little while ago, and we already got the first person in. Right away, somebody got in. I haven't even looked at the statistics. All right. But yeah, this one will actually close in seven days, so you won't be able to get in. It's not like I'm not going to keep it open at a higher price. I'm just going to completely close it. Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. Jamie. Karan Lacroix. Karan Lacroix on Twitter just got in. Yeah, I want, oh, let me find, I got to scroll back. Let me find the first, I think you're the second person, Karan. I like to keep track. Whenever I launch these test groups, because I've been launching these, getting crazy results for now six years. And um, I didn't always keep track of who the first person was. I can look back through our database, but. It's cooler to find. Let me find this first person. What what time was it? There it is. Ceci Terraquez in Littleton, Colorado. Off my Snapchat, I posted it. You can see it right here. Cesare. But you were the second that just got in now, so cool. Um, what's going on, guys? Ty, I want success. You leave clues. I need a friend like Ty Lopez. You do a class on copywriting. That's another class. That, that's a whole nother thing. But I'm going to tell you this. Okay, let's go through. So you got all the, all the tools in the modern world that are insane. From WeWork to having a, an office that you don't have to lock yourself in 10 years. You got Alipay, Alibaba, AliExpress, right? Where you can do drop shipping. You got Shopify to build quick websites. Amazon, you can be selling online on the largest portal ever created by man. You have social media marketing. The youngest billionaire in history, Kylie Jenner, sold her makeup just off her Snapchat and Instagram. You got affiliate ways to make money through ClickBank and affiliate networks. You have Upwork to find talent, virtual assistants. You can find people now working with you from around the world, talented people. I'm going into 33 countries. I've been about seven already for many years. Uh, Stripe to process all this. But if you want to make money, it's all held together by sales and persuasion. I've seen so many people go into different programs, buy different books, and over and over again, the people that don't get the results are the people who suck at sales and persuasion. Whether it be creating a sales a persuasive video, if you look at, pull up Dollar Shave Club video. This video right here, because it was persuasive, and I'm gonna, I'll start, I'm gonna break down, I'm doing a seven day free training, when the seven day, during the seven day free training, if you like it, you can get in the four month certification program, but during that, Tom, right. I want you, look at this. I'm Mike, founder of dollarshaveclub.com. What is dollarshaveclub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are f***ing great. Each razor has stainless steel blades. And Pause there for a second. Shift. Pause. Go back. Let me show you. By the way, what he did right there, for those of you who don't know, that's called pa pattern interruption. So I was talking about more ninja advanced stuff. The reason, and also right here, is called a availability bias. He understood one of the 25 cognitive biases. By the way, he sold his company. He was an actor, a broke actor in Hollywood. I remember when he started, I believe it was 2013, he sold his company for $1.3 or $1.2 billion to Unilever. Not a bad exit. I bet you he owned at least 15% of it, which means 
for the make, and it was all built off this video, which, which was persuasive. And he probably, my guess is he pocketed on the low end, on the low end, two hundred million dollars. I don't, I don't know him personally, but uh, I once Google invited me to give a talk, and they're the head of marketing and all this. Way. So he did a pattern interrupt. He knew that at this time people would start to get bored. He walked through just randomly a piece of paper, but he also has this there because he wanted to make a strong point and he understood that different types of people, going back to here, with the PACE system, you have to know how to read people. And so people who are more uh, practical, right, they tend to be visual learners, they need to read it. Those people who are action-based tend to be real quick, they're like sharp, they didn't need to read it. They could hear him say when he said, our blades are beep, great, right? So because he, this is called, by the way, I'm, I'll, I'll try to get a little, we got four minutes. How much money do we have left to give away on Instagram? Uh, you gave away 400. So I got 600 bucks, Instagram, when this goes, we're gonna reset it. Come back and win the 600 bucks. Um, dimensionalizing is moving between these pace personality types. So that's what he did here. This is stuff that they don't teach you at school at all. Nobody understands this. There's not one class I've ever seen in the world that talks about dimensionalization of personality types. This is like advanced PhD stuff. In fact, this is some ways too advanced for most 99% of people on this call. But I will be going into this in the four month program. You learn this, you make money from anywhere in the world. You lose all your money, you'll have it right back. Mark Cuban I know and, and I was talking to him and I said, um, hey, what would you do if you lost all your money? He said, I just start over in sales. He said, that's how I started selling door to door trash can, trash bags, he told me. If you can sell, you're gonna be good, you know? Todd, you have to be a celebrity, make great sales. No, nope, this guy wasn't a celebrity, he was a nobody. But he's a wealthy nobody. Do you know this guy? Or do you follow him on Instagram? Anybody know his name? No but he made more money than any social media influencer <laughs> in the last couple of years. I mean, not than any, than most social media influencers. Okay, Ty, can you talk about the best types of sales that you recommend in getting into before real estate? All you real estate agents, all you people in my social media marketing programs, all you people doing online sales, all you affiliate, if you don't know how to sell as a black belt, by the way, so I do jujitsu. You got white belt, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt, then you have coral belt, then you have a red belt. Coral belt and red belt, I have an even more advanced system, but that's not open to the public right now. So I'm gonna give you the black belt system. 